it's in his blood. Shafi Juso is trying to safeguard the future of the centuries-old art of Malaysian kite flying. Back in his studio, Shafi, one of the few remaining kite makers, has been doing this for more than 50 years. I stopped my schooling because I was fond of kite making. When I see a kite fly high in the air, my heart is even happier. It can take up to three months to make the more elaborate designs. This model is one of the most difficult to make and costs around 2,000 US dollars. Many shapes are inspired by animals, but the Wow Bulan or Moon Kite with its tip resembling a crescent is the most popular and is also a national symbol. Some tourists buy the kites as decorations. We are still happy if people do not buy. It is okay. I am happy if they come and just see. Several kite festivals take place in Malaysia, but some fear the art form will fade away. It takes many, many years to learn the craft and to master the craft. And the situation in Kelantan now, as elsewhere in Malaysia, is that there are very few craftsmen who still have this traditional knowledge and are passing down this traditional knowledge to the next generation. But Shafi, for one, hopes to keep these kites flying high for years to come.